97 FM. Today we're in our live studio session with a guest who wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He has hustled his way to fame, and he's now making headlines. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kwesi Atta. Good morning, dude. How are you doing today? Good morning, good morning. It's good, good to see you good. in person, because every time yes. I get to you, you're probably on the back of a bicycle, bare <laughs> chest bed, or a motorbike doing your yeah, thing. Yeah, good to be here. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that you made it out here today. B and congratulations on your nomination you. for Thank the BET. You. Well, not too many young rappers get it around here. How did, how did that news come to you? Where were you? when you heard it? Um, I was in a car going home. Mm -hmm. I think we were doing some rounds around town. Myself, Mango, and Morgan, uh, and Cliff. Yeah, we were doing some rounds around town, and I saw it, I saw it on Twitter. Uh, but wha when I what was your reaction when you when saw it? When I saw it, I thought, like, maybe th those people, some who just, they, <laughs> like, tweet something. Mm -hmm. but, but, like, so I logged off, yeah. and later, uh, messages ke kept, like, kept, came, like, kept coming in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, what be this? So I checked the BT International official page on right. Instagram, right. and I found out like I saw my name, I right. saw my face on yeah. their page, and I. Uh, wh what, uh, <laughs> what? What? What was going through your mind at that time? Uh, I was shocked. I was surprised. I was like so excited. What did you do with your friends and mates around you? Were we're you just hugging screaming. them, or you were just screaming? We we're just screaming. We we're just. Scre I mean, went to the beach. Uh -huh. Like we went to the beach just to like feel the breeze, watch the waves. Yeah. Like, and just reflect on it. I, I, I am sure that at that moment a lot of things went through your mind, but I want for you to walk us through what led you here. How did you get here? Tell us about yourself growing up and how you got into music. Um, growing up, I never, th I, I never thought I would make music <laughs> till like I got to <laughs> secondary school. Really? Uh, growing up, I've, I've always wanted to play football. Yeah, but you my still dad. Do you still play? No, you no. don't. I play haven't anymore. played like in a year or something. Oh uh, yes, not yeah. too much. At least you won't be too rusty when you go back. Oh, I'm rusty. <laughs> <Like. laughs> yeah, but so my dad like <laughs> he used to like fix electrical gadgets and stuff. So he always had like music on. Mm -hmm. He always listened to the radio. So he was always playing music. But I never thought I'll be making music mm -hmm. here till I got to secondary school. Yeah, so in Tamasco, I started writing raps and stuff. Right. And when I oh, you went to Tamasco? Yeah. When yeah. I went to school and like gave it like performed it for my friends, mm -hmm. they they were like, oh, you know, be your own. You go steal bars where they can't rap for you. <laughs> yeah. So from then on, I knew I could do it. I yeah. could make music. What so that's when I started. Yeah, but what did you want to be? Uh, up? What are some of the things apart from football? It changed over time. Yeah. At one point, I wanted to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. I got to another point, I wanted to be a lawyer. Uh -huh. Then I wanted to be uh, a journalist, <laughs> but Look where you are. I know, right? Do you yes. have any siblings? Yes. How I many? have three other siblings. Three. I'm the second. Yeah, the yeah. second. I have the last one is a girl okay. and like I have two other brothers. You have two yeah. other brothers. Oh, okay. And um um how how is their reaction towards your newfound career? Oh, they are all excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when my elder brother he's mm -hmm. like he's always been doing this and he got me into it more. Lele right. shouts to Lele. Um he used to rap. But at one point he stopped. So uh, oh, like so he doesn't rap anymore. No, he doesn't. But he introduced you to rap. Yeah. yeah Can you remember kind of. some of the first, you know, rap songs that you wrote I whilst I you were in Tamaso? I'm sure. I don't remember. I'm sure you I probably have one or two going yeah. through your mind. But I don't remember. You don't remember? Yeah. The no beats or anything come no, to mind? No, no. No, I don't remember. Like, it's been, it was long ago. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So um, tell us a little bit about, you know, you in Tamasco and trying to rap and your friends thought it was cool. At what point did you decide that you wanted to take it a step further? Um, in school, like I didn't, I wasn't really rapping to like the crowd, like masses. No, just yeah, only friends. my friends. Right. Only my so mm -hmm. no one knew me. So one day when I got on stage to perform at one freak night, mm -hmm. like everyone was like, "Hey, you they do this for?" You? So like some of the girls started teasing me, calling me chicky chicky chicky. Like, <laughs> yeah, why? So, yeah. Is it because of the I mean the the beatbox that you were doing with your mouth or stuff? Oh no, nah, like they thought they thought it was funny. Oh okay. Yeah, they thought it was funny. So after school, mm -hmm. um, I applied for GI, I applied for leg and GIJ, mm -hmm. but I got I got leg, I got GIJ, mm -hmm. and I couldn't I couldn't go in because of our f because of my fee. So mm -hmm. I just decided to. Just stay home and focus on this music thing, mm -hmm. yeah, and put in my oh, cause people were telling me like I'm good at it, and this is what I wanted to do. So I just focused on it and went in more. 
Right. Yeah. And what what was your parents' reaction to it? I mean, they couldn't, um, as you said, afford um, university yeah. for you, yeah. so or GIG for yeah. you. And so, what did they d- what did they say when they realized that you were now doing music and you wanted to take it a step further? Uh, my parents always like they let me do what I wanted to do when it came to like my career path and my career choice. Mm-hmm. Um. So. They w- they, like, they've always been supportive. They ju- they've just told me to go in more, like, and follow my heart mm-hmm. and do what I want to do. Right. Yeah, so they've always been there for me. Right. Yeah. And um, basically, what did you do? Were you just rapping at home or you were joining friends to go to the studio um, to do all sorts of stuff? I didn't have, like, the money to go to the studio yeah. and record and pay for, right. like, the fees. Mm-hmm. So I spoke to one man, Mr. Kobe. Yeah, he lived in community night in our area, and he had a studio. Mm-hmm. So I, I spoke to him, and we had an agreement that I'll record boys, mm-hmm. and at my free time, I can just record myself. Okay. Yeah, so that's when it started. So and you I were learning to uh, do, I mean, man yeah. the equipment and things yes, in his yes, studio. Yes, yes, right. So I started recording other people. Sometimes I mix, and I started recording myself more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... At one point, I got introduced to Keso by Seduji. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Seduji. Seduji was like my manager then. Like mm-hmm. he acted as my manager, helping me a, a little bit, like helping me more. So he introduced me to Keso, mm-hmm. and Keso took me to the Ground Up Studios. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Ground Up is a social platform. Right. So when we met, we we started making freestyle videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What year? W- what year was that? 2015. 2015. Yeah, 2015. Okay, so you yeah. were doing freestyle videos, but yeah. you you didn't record anything major at that time. No, we you? we were recording, but we didn't drop you any didn't singles. You didn't drop any singles. At that point, we we were grooming ourselves. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and how was that? Did you feel like um you know you were building up, or did you feel like you really wanted to? Hi- were you like in a hurry to hit it big at that time? Oh no, no. Like I've always trusted the process, mm-hmm. and like I knew. If I come in a rush, like if I come boom, like just like that, I'll go just like that. Mm-hmm. So I have to prepare, I have to make myself ready and right. go through the process and trust it. Right. Yeah. So I was just relaxed doing my own thing and like slowly, slowly we got here. Yeah. yeah. And 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 uh, how did you come by the song Grind Day, which brought you to fame? Were you just playing around with it? Ah, uh, Grind Day was just another song we made in the studio. Uh-huh. Um, it was. I had an intention to make a song titled Abedi Pele. Mm-hmm. So I went to the studio one day. I told Keso I wanted to make a song Abedi Pele. I gave him the melody. Mm-hmm. but So he played the beat. He played a grinder beat, the first one. But that was slower. It was way slower and had like a slower tempo. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when he made it, I I listened to what I came up with. The idea I came up with, and I was like, nah, this will be good. So I decided to do something else. Yeah, that's when I came up with the melody for Grinding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the next day, I put in the lyrics, came back to the studio, recorded it. He played it, we were listening to it, and he was like, nah, make it increase the tempo. So when he increased the tempo, boom, we had Grinding. So uh, Abedi Pele was the song that actually took you to um, Grinding. But yeah. did you finish recording Abedi No, Abedi I didn't Pele's do it. And I today, didn't like how it sounded. And, and after today, you still haven't no, gone back no, to it. No, this is interesting. Yeah. And then when it started hitting big and everybody was singing Grinding, how did that yeah. make you feel? Oh, it felt it felt really good. It felt, it felt really good. good. Like, yeah. Charlie, then they sing your song. Like, it's, they sing your song. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And yeah. I think you got a nomination in the Ghana Musical Awards yes. as well. Yeah. I mean, did that also even give you give you a hint that you probably might get to the BETs at no, that time? No, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Wow, it didn't. wow. We we'll definitely want to hear a rap from you. So mm-hmm. let's hear something from you. Uh, not if it's not grinding anything else. What do you what do you want to rap? Okay. I've been looking for myself. Forget you couldn't make a wealth. Mama and Kabema and Mel. Now me tell me where you forget it, get 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 it. Me nyako maya did you see kajo? My me told the gold me put some blow on. Monday. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's the way we roll. So tell me the perfect time of day that you actually get the inspiration to write your lyrics. What time of day do you usually write? At any time. Like, I get my inspiration. Any time. Any time. You might say something right now, mm-hmm. and I'll just find, like, just put something to Hooks it and just it. put it down. Right. Yeah. So at any time. At mm-hmm. any, but I usually record at night because that's the only time. time. We, we, like, that's the only time we're free. Yeah. You d- so you are you still recording in the studio where you first started at, or you've moved on? 
Oh, we still record there. The same. But same. now, like, we have a more private place mm-hmm. where we record because that side, like, everyone knows it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we get busier over yeah, there. Yeah, so it now gets you have really a busy. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. We've we've got um Kwesi Atta in the studio, BET nominee in the studio, and um, hey, I'm sure that you have questions and comments. Yeah. You can send it to us zero two four four three four zero four three seven. It's almost twenty minutes to eleven now. On the Cosmopolitan Mix on Joy 99.7 FM, we're in a live studio session with Chris Yatha. We'll play a little bit of his music, and then we'll come right back to the chat. You stick and stay with us. Sounds so crazy, Atha. You will think that for somebody who came from Grind Day, which is really hard <laughs> on rap, you know, uh, the other side of the table was a gospel song. Really yeah. nice song. I like Thank it. Wara so is what's much. playing in the background. Okay. What led you to do this one? Um, I got I got the beat from Shuto Blinks. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Sully Bricks. Right. Sully Bricks got me the beat from Shuto Blinks. Um, and when I got it, like, I just laid something on I just laid melodies on it. Yeah, so it was just melodies. And then I thought, like, with how far God has brought me, led me every step of the way. Like, let me just do a song. Yeah. yeah. You talk about a lot of challenges and how far God has brought you. Yeah. Um, do you want to share some of the challenges that you've been through as, you know, like a young adult growing up? Um, well, it hasn't, it hasn't been easy. Like, it hasn't been easy financially. Mm-hmm. Um, I almost ended up as a security guard. Where? But now, look. Like at Middle East, like I almost, almost, almost like. As in Middle East, Ashama. Yeah, Ashama, Middle East. Wow. Yeah, so like by now I would have been like 
sitting somewhere like watching doing somebody's a 66 property. Shibab, yeah like that would have been terrible for w- me was it simply because you needed to eat and yes. you needed to feed yes, your, yes. take care of yourself yes. and your family yes so i almost like ended up like doing it mm-hmm. yeah but i didn't you didn't almost like and what almost like i could take it exactly what were your parents when you were taking oh the they were there so, but at some point in, like i can't rely on my parents like every time right. i have to fend for myself and right. stuff right. yeah so that's how hard it got yeah, right but and the rest and the that. rest of your siblings how are they surviving how oh, are they good like now some are in school mm-hmm. and like the others the others like doing something but mm-hmm. yeah but I have to fend for myself. Right. Like, yeah. Right. And what about your brother, the one who was doing the rap? Oh yeah, he, he's also he's also. He's, is he still doing too. rap? Or no, no, he's not. He's, he's, not, he's just doing something. Doing else. it, yeah. doing it like his regular work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's that's interesting. And how did that all change? I mean, obviously, all of these things will have an impact on your life. Yeah. How has that changed the way you see things and the way you react to things in your career now that you yeah. you know come this far how does that impact on your life now oh uh, well to appreciate the little things like i appreciate the little things like and sometimes my people be like ah make you no do this make you no do this like but i'll be like ah just like i've been doing this all my life like i feel do it and it, it has taught me to believe in myself more mm-hmm. like our thoughts are everything right our thoughts are everything mm-hmm. and our thoughts what you say with your mouth like they might they might like happen like it might happen yeah, in be, careful like yeah, be careful what you say you careful like, what you ask careful. for you yeah. might just get it kind yeah. of thing yeah. right right yeah. did you think that the BET nomination that you got came too early in your career um no I don't like, <laughs> it's for it's for best new act yeah and I'm a new act yeah and like they know why they nominated me right and like it's, it, it has happened like right yeah i'm just grateful it did yeah yeah and um what was your reaction when you realized that it had gone to somebody else and it didn't come to you oh i was calm i was calm because if it, i hadn't been nominated like i wouldn't be in the states charlie i was in la like <laughs> you, were, you were ah, chilling in la what what do i would have liked to like yeah. win it for right. the country right. and for like yeah, for the country, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it didn't go my way. But I'm grateful it did. Yeah, like, we're still we're still winners. Yeah, tell yeah. us a little bit about LA. You know what went on over there when you went? How did they treat you? Because in the past they would have said that um, you know when it, it, they have to give Africans um, yeah. awards, they would do it the day before, and it's yeah. behind a certain stage and yeah. all of that. Did that happen to you? Oh no! Like we were treated like really well. Mm-hmm. Really well. Like where I was seated was like so close to the stage. Right. Yeah, and the video go- I saw the video win an award on stage, mm-hmm. like with everyone clapping and stuff. Like right. that right. was like that was a huge moment for Africa. Right. Yeah. So I had fun. Like it was really, it was really exciting. You you enjoyed it. Yes, are very you, much. Are you looking forward to your next BET nomination? Oh, definitely. And you're working towards that, yes, I guess. Yes. Yeah? Yes, we are. What are you cooking up in the studio right now? Um, for now, I have wire out and I'm still pushing it, but. Mm-hmm. Um, Wara is a nice song. Wara is a really nice song. I like it. I like the melody. Thanks to Shoto Blinks for producing it. Thanks to Seshi for mixing and mastering. Thanks to Oting for playing the guitars on it. Yeah. But I'm working on a project. I'm working on another project. Right. Yeah. Live for me. Oh. Ah, yeah. I'm working on another project. (laughs) People should just watch out. (laughs) Did you you almost spill the beans? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, people, (laughs) pretend that you didn't hear that. Zero two four four three four zero four three seven one. A live studio session with Kwesi Arthur this morning. We'll go on a quick break and come back with our show business news. Zero two four four three four zero four three seven. If you have any questions or comments for Kwesi Arthur, you can also send that right to us here at Joy ninety nine point seven FM. It's the beat, the rhythm, the sound. This is 99.7 Joy FM. So Ecobank has 1 million digital customers on its mobile app, Hooray. And a big thank you to all our digital customers. For those who are yet to come on board and get connected, you can download the app from the Play Store or the App Store or simply dial star 770 hush and start transacting star 770 hush or just download the Ecobank mobile app from the Google Play or the App Store. It's Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. 
MTN Momo is also the easiest and fastest way to do all your financial transactions. You can use MTN Momo to send money, receive money, pay your bills, pay school fees, salaries, allowances, and also to pay for your goods and services at any merchant point. You don't need to travel all over the city. You can sit in the comfort of your home, in the market, or your office, and make the payment. Observe the three golden rules to keep your MTN Momo account safe and secure. Rule number one, keep your MTN Momo pin safe. It is your secret. Rule number two, don't give away your MTN Momo transaction details. And rule number three, perform all your MTN Momo transactions yourself. Keep your account safe and secure and continue to enjoy a fast and convenient MTN Momo experience. Dial star 170 hush and just Momo it everywhere you go. So Opera News is on now. It would give you live scores to keep you updated with every goal in the World Cup ongoing. Follow your favorite teams, receive kickoff reminders so you don't miss a moment of the World Cup. The dedicated video channel allows you to re-watch the football highlights of the day. Opera News is a lightweight app and it's quick to download from Google Play and Opera.co. Adanse Travels is five years old this July. We celebrated in a five-city Euro tour, starting from Germany's heartbeat Berlin. Then we go to Prague, Europe's most adored city. We will also add Budapest and Bratislava and Vienna at only 2,555 US dollars. It starts from the 27th of July up until the 6th of August. You wouldn't want to miss this five-star tour for Europe really affordable too so come join us let's celebrate five years in europe now this package includes visa consultation return flight hotel accommodation daily buffet breakfast transfers travel insurance and you can call us now at adanse travels on 055 6310404 or 028 0208, excuse me, 254871, 0208254871. So finally approaching your crush is super and getting that number is great. But I tell you, being able to talk for as long as you want all month for just five CDs is super fantastic great. You can do that on your Airtel Tigo. You get super fantastic great deals to talk unlimited all day. Airtel Tigo contacts, you can talk to them for just 50 pesos all day. And you can talk to them all month for as low as 5 Ghana CDs. Simply dial star 533 hush, select daily or monthly options, and set the conversations. Keep them going. It's a super fantastic great time if you're on Airtel Tigo, now one big family. I don't praise 2018. Ye behim is just around the corner. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. And that's Psalm 67.3. Get ready for a spirit inciting and awakening experience. I don't praise ye behim. We've got a beat going on anyways. Thank you for staying with us here. It's almost 8 minutes to 11. Let's quickly find out what is in our show business news this morning. There's a story here about Poof Skinny talking about the fact that Ghana Rap is dead and he will resurrect it. Maybe I want your comments on that. Um, I guess like he's like he comes from like a different like uh, He's come from a, a different era, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like maybe I feel like that Juice no day anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah. So he needs to resurrect himself. Oh no no no! <laughs> like that's not what I'm saying. Le but like that level of like lyricism, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think like it's kind of lost 
small but yeah like people like there are a lot of rappers now who are trying who are yeah, trying. but they are just not out there right yeah but you think yeah. there are a lot of underground rappers yeah, there are lots of there are lots of talented people right like, there are right. lots of talented so, rappers right so, now so definitely yeah. we have to make sure that yeah. those underground will yeah. come out but for skinny them at time like rap was like so exciting right you get me? yeah right. Like, what well, made it exciting in their time like what they said <laughs> like it was usually funny okay yeah. and we were, we were kids then so like we we used to really enjoy it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So it was kind of like, you know, it wasn't comedy per se, but it was fun to listen to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go into the story, I mean, and find out exactly what he's saying about um, the rap in Ghana being dead. The CEO of, of, of Aswading Music is actually saying that, um, he said that in a xylophone radio interview, he asserted that rap in Ghana is dead, but he will put measures in place to resurrect the ailing field of music. According to the rapper who used to host Kasahari Level on Adom FM, it's as a result of the ailing state of rap in Ghana, and that's why the likes of Sa, Kodie, Kofi, Kenata, Yapuno, and all have been singing instead of rapping. Um, do you agree or you don't agree? I think those people just r- like to rap. Yeah, and like you know, sometimes the fusion of the rap and the singing helps it to blow up, right? So nah, it's like not like the rap is dead. For me, I don't know about others, but for me, like mm-hmm. it has to do with feelings, right? And at one point, I feel like putting the lyrics to melodies, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, sometimes I, I just feel like putting the lyrics to rhythm, just right? Rhythm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah rather depen- than yeah, it yeah. depends. It I, depends. Actually, if you ask my honest opinion, it depends on the way you look at it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, so he's saying he's going to resurrect um, rap here in Ghana, and those are the words of Pope Skinny. He referred to himself as the Messiah of rap in Ghana, claiming that he can bring rap back to life. He says that he ha- he's re- he is reinstated as host of Kasahari Level Show on Adom FM, and he will play a significant role to restore the lost glory of rap in Ghana to the satisfaction of music enthusiasts. Okay, we kindly wait for that data bring everything to fruition. Highly Spiritual Music, a label owned by renowned producer and sound engineer Kewa, is accusing singer Kati G of stealing a beat meant for Crimey, an artist on the label. Now, a statement from the label mentioned that the beat in question was produced by That Beat God, who is also signed on to Highly Spiritual Music label and is the instrumental for Crimey's Day Day, scheduled for release soon. Oops. The beat used in the Kati G song is a highly spiritual property, hence the female singer does not have the permission to use it in any way. Crimey, who celebrated his birthday on the 7th of July, is set to release his debut with the same beat in a few days' time. And I'm sure if somebody just doesn't stop, it will probably end up in court. Oh, small stealing of beats, eh? You could have asked permission and paid, and we probably wouldn't have been here. Oh, gosh. It's a la vie. Anyway, Abeko Santana has condemned the actions and accusations for some religious figures against him and other innocent victims who fall prey to such people. Abeko Santana has recently become a target for some religious personalities, particularly a so-called TV evangelist on YouTube who claims the likes of Abeko Santana belong to occult groups like Illuminati. Addressing the allegations by the evangelist, the Ghana's drive show Supremo vowed to expose the deception, the lies, and the evil activities by evangelists and this and his kind who have flooded social media to tarnish people's hard work and reputations. In a statement issued by the radio host, he pledged to use the appropriate authorities to deal with all the fake pastors accordingly. An award-winning Ghanaian acts Kidi and Kwame Eugene last Saturday at the club cell in Amsterdam thrilled thousands of patrons in their recent Netherlands day. New Age powerhouse from Lynx Entertainment, the pair roused audiences with a spate of their widely known hits. And they had swiftly earned them lots of spots in the country's biggest stages as well as multiple high-profile awards. They said they went to Amsterdam to thrill. Kenyan dancehall artist Livingstone Setekla, popularly known as Stone Boy, has revealed that he had always dreamt of being a soldier when he was growing up. He said this in an interview on Written in the Stars on Joy Prime. According to Stone Boy, he was passionate about flying jets and therefore wanted to be part of the Air Force, but unfortunately that dream didn't come to reality. He found his interest in music, rather, and growing up he says I'd always wanted to be a soldier, especially to fly jet something which had to do with Air Force and that was why 
Growing up as a child, I dreamt about that, but it didn't happen. The dancehall artist is popular known for his hit songs, including Hero, My Name, Go Higher, Dirty Enemies, and others. He's also the CEO of Benetton Music Group, and he's won the Ghana Music of the Year artist for 2015. Before we go, Nollywood actor Jim Ike has disclosed why he is no longer seen in many Nigerian films. Hmm, there's a lot to be said about that. The Nollywood lover boy says that he has not appeared in any movies recently because most movie producers could no longer afford his fees. He was speaking in an interview with Annette. He said, I've not been away. It is the producers who cannot afford me. So I know my worth. But I've also been busy creating opportunities and jobs for Nigerian youth so that we can all live better lives. On the reports that the recent actors lacked creativity and talent, Jim Ike said that it is wrong to say today artists lack productivity and talent. When the likes of Ramsey Noah, Emeka Ike, and I were acting, that was what was said about us as well. But I did not let it bother me. We learned on the job and we got better with it. So I know they will also get better with time. If it's your birthday today, you share your birthday with Ghana Sak. Kodias' it's big birthday today. Happy birthday, Sak. I hope your day goes well. You also share your birthday with actress Sofia Vergara. She is 46 today. Pop singer and designer Jessica Simpson is 38. And little Harper Beckham, daughter of the Beckhams, is seven years old today. You've got several claims to fame. Go on, have a blessed birthday. And can you hang on for our news at 11? It comes up pretty shortly. We're coming back with some more with Kwesi Atha. He's in our live studio session today. Expect some rapping after the break. 11 o'clock. Hello and welcome to Joe Headline News at 11 with me, Hannah Odame. Coming up, Ghana Medical Association demands better emergency services after images of patients being treated on the floor at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital spark uproar on social media. Kaswa MCE dismisses as unfair revelations the lack of toilets at district court has forced a magistrate there to use chamber pots. And 11th boy rescued from Thai cave. Mission to freeing remaining soccer team continues. Details now. The Ghana Medical Association says the directive by the health minister to treat patients needing emergency care on chairs and floors has a tendency of causing more deaths than was the case. The minister's directive was in response to reported cases of some patients being turned away from health facilities for lack of beds. Speaking on the Super Morning Show, the Deputy General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association, Dr. Tayos Bayo, said the minister should rather focus on fixing emergency systems in health facilities. The Medical Association has maintained and would want to re-emphasize that point. That is not just an issue of issuing administrative fear. It does not serve anybody's interest to do that. And I think the people of Ghana, we must all rise up and demand for better emergency services from the authorities. That directive from the Ministry or Ghana Health Service should have come with some accompanying uh, 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 administrative arrangement. In emergency situation, mass catastrophe, we are comfortable treating patients on the floor. But it shouldn't be a daily occurrence that every doctor walking into the emergency knows that today I'm going to bend my knee and my, my waist and give effusions on the floor. No. You hear the Deputy General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association, Dr. Tayos Bayo. The newly elected chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Freddie Blay, has dismissed a suggestion by a UK Conservative Party representative that candidates for the party's just-ended Congress wasted money on posters. In his address at the Congress, Dr. John Hayworth wondered whether the printing of many campaign posters was a prudent way of using resources available to those who were vying for the position. He also warned the party to desist from it. But, Mr. Blake says, Dr. Hayward's view is culturally inclined and cannot apply in Ghana. If you print 10,000 posters and 5,000 people are delegates, the process is more than the people. But do you need 10,000 posters when please, there are only 5,000 people voting? I wish you voting? were standing for an election. We have 275 constituents. So if I print 20,000 po posters, big posters, eight, three posters, and put them all around, I want to do differently. We are not in Europe, whereby you do only uh, WhatsApp and uh, uh, what is it? social oh. media. We can't afford a door-to-door. -door. Maybe, so maybe you got it from a wrong cultural perspective.
That was Fred Blay. He's a chairman of the New Patriotic Party. The MCE for Kaswa has described as unfair claims by a district court magistrate that she uses a chamber pot because there are no toilets. Chief Justice Sophia Kufu on a tour of the central region discovered the lack of a proper place of convenience at the course. Listen. And the other side is, it's for them. They have the washroom and everything to themselves, so I can't oh. manage to. This is my chamber pot. Mm -hmm. I, I can't show it to And um, why I sit? It was just a louver like this. I wasn't feeling safe, so my complaint and the supervising also came, so they have used plywood to at least block that side. I also recommended that they should create another door. There was no exit door. We all used the same entrance. Well, the MC for the area, Michael Yao Ashman Mensa, says there are eight toilets at the assembly where the court is situated, and the judge in question has been given one for her personal use. The chief justice didn't express any feeling or, if you like, perception of any wrong conditions for the people here. Only for me to get to the office and be bombarded with calls from all over the world that we don't have toilet facilities at the assembly because a courtroom that shares a building with the assembly has no toilet facility and for that matter the judge uses chamber pot. So that's so bad to hear because I'm putting it on record that we have toilet facility for the judge in this uh, complex. I'll go and show you the toilet facility. You hear the MC for Kaswa, Michael Yao Ashman Mensa. To some good news, and an 11th person has been rescued from a flooded thigh cave complex where 12 boys and their soccer coach were trapped for more than two weeks, raising hopes that all 13 will be out by the end of the day. On the third day of the rescue mission, held the head of the operation said the final operation will be more challenging because one more survivor will be brought out along with three Navy SEALs who have been accompanying them. The rescuers were two hours faster in bringing the second badge of survivors out on Monday. The boys excavated so far have undergone x-rays and blood tests. They will remain under observation in hospital for at least seven days. On that good news, you enjoy headline news at 11 with me, Hannah Odame. We'll be back at 12 with more news from across the country. I found a love for me. You deserve to start your marriage with the right preparation to make the big day memorable and hassle-free. The 2018 edition of the Joy Beauty and Bridal Fair offers you a convenient shopping experience to engage wedding professionals, designers, and vendors to help you live your dream. And it comes off at the Accra International Conference Center from Thursday, 12 July to Sunday, 15 July, 2018. For enquiries, call 0246-477-783 or 0540-106-466. Make a date with the Joy Beauty and Bridal Fair from 12 to 15th July at the Accra International Conference Center from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. The Joy Beauty and Bridal Fair is brought to you by Joy 99.7 FM and sponsored by PMMC Jewelry Limited, the nation's premier jeweler, Ruby's Bridal, Experience Royalty, Curious Cakes by EKGS, Curious Cakes, where cake meets style, Angel's Beauty Supplies, it's all about looks, Black Secret Makeup, Beautiful Smiles Always, Pepsi, Own the Moment, Still, One Ghana CD Pet, Team 1000 Words Limited, an image is worth a thousand words, we create the proof, Millennium Insurance, your trustworthy partner, and 925, creating a treasure for a lifetime, Joy, Beauty and Bridal Fair, where your beauty comes alive, and your walk down the aisle begins. I am Dr. Keisha. Acacia gives your workers the best customer service and treatment options when the need arises, keeping them healthier and more productive for your business. Acacia Health Insurance. We place value on those you value. Move on up, 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 up. Moving on up is paying from your phone and getting looks of approval from your friends. Moving on up is doing all your banking from your bathroom like a boss. Moving on up is losing your wallet, but your money is still safe. Moving on up is attaching any bank's card to the Echo Bank mobile app. Oh yeah, download the Echo Bank mobile app. Make we go and bank like a boss. Move on up with Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. At Afrodan, we believe that many of the problems people have with their health is as a result of the way they sit. In other words, your chair can kill you. 
Here's Dr. Marcus Mann of the Chiropractic and Wellness Center. What you have to remember is that the spine is the lifeline to your body, and posture is the window to that spine. Now, posture is affected by your daily activities and habits like sitting. That's why at the Chiropractic and Wellness Centers, we recommend what I believe to be the best chairs available for preventing not only subluxations, but also other health problems that you may not be aware of, and that's Rabami and Mobilex chairs. Unfortunately, on a daily basis, I have to correct the effects of this poor sitting habit in our businessmen and businesswomen. Always remember, optimal spine equals optimum health. So, for the sake of your health, buy Rabami or Mobilex chairs from Afrodan. We are on the first floor of the Swansea Shopping Arcade. Telephone 663-085. It's finally here. A time to honor, meet, wine, and dine. The Ghana National College Old Students Association, Nananum, as part of their 70th anniversary, presents the Ghana National College Fundraising Dinner and Awards 2018. Date, Saturday, July 14, 2018. Time, 6 p.m. Venue, Labadi Beach Hotel, La Accra. Being held under the theme, Ghana Call at 70. Rekindling patriotism in our future leaders. The Black Tie Fundraising Event in aid of an Anniversary Legacy Project will also witness the conferment of the Fellow of the Ghana Call on persons who have donated $1,000 or more to the Ghana Call Endowment Fund. The night will also witness some good music from the legendary Abrantia Amachi Dede and his Apollo Hikings Band. Call 0244-313166 or 0244-366-090. Nananum Enyansafo. Charlie, who is playing today? My party. You need to download the Oprah News app. It lets you keep track of all general news and all local news. Ensure sure they ask me these plenty questions. Bro, this app is amazing. I feel like all my favorite teams. Now, I won't miss out on any game. There's more, bro. Join the live matches at the World Cup. Open the app. Check your phone. And start a chance of winning amazing prizes from Jumia. You don't Win cars. Over 300,000 CDs worth of shopping vouchers and more. Hey. Oprah News. News that rewards live scores, commentary, and watch video highlights. Download Ghana's number one news app and football companion from Google Play for free. It's the beat, the rhythm, the sound. This is 99.7 Joy FM. Shout to the movies. With your man, them talk too much, we don't like them. See me with my people, you for stand firm. No, a couple people back against them. Can't mess with your man, them keep the circle tight, man. Pass them. No new friends, that's the anthem. That's the anthem. That's the anthem. Can't mess with your man, them. Me a problem, you know. They be never come to me, no. See, yeah, one jam, you know. Master Dina, on your camera, you know. Many just a mess up, you know they do things. When we wake up, we the do things. The woman cry, she a Lucy. If we touch it bad and bougie, I'm a man fake, you won't fake it. Make any sense, so I did it, me me say so. Coco, my baby, I never play so. I see your post online, me me table. Ah, uh, me no buy it, this I can go away. I feel like this thing every day, this gon' never be stable. I mean, tell me, I mean, tell me, man, tell me. Can't mess with your man, them. Can't mess with your mind, keep the circle tight, remember. 
You're welcome back to the Cosmopolitan Mix. It's 13 past 11. We're in our live studio session with Kwesi Arthur this morning. In the background, you hear his song, Anthem. We probably want to hear you rap on this one. There you go. Should I should I get the beat or I should go from the top? Oh, <laughs> let me do uh, let me do an acapella. Uh, okay, do an acapella, do an acapella, do an acapella. Uh, same boy where you laugh at, same boy where you call John. Me ne got me a rash class, ground floor bastard. Who get an impone who name me from? Come on, run in the fast fast, boys with the back pass. Same fool me, I pass that. What's your question? Turn away blue, open up for where? Coin store from crime, man from my bro, I'm on the cassa. Ooh, who will fit you off from off your bay phone, boy, be seeing me cool, eh? I thought that I had to pinch myself, then base myself, so this guy be you. Ah, whoa. Uh, ja, ja, take control. Me basic car, but gun, I'm pushing you. Baby, I'm afraid of crime, I'm here, I'm Let's get it. Shouts to McCoy, shouts to Mongo Dance. Um, happy birthday, Sako, the chairman. Like, you've done so much for us. We appreciate it. Today's your birthday. More life, more everything. Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. <laughs> so you did the rap <laughs> for your man, Sack. So tell me something. You grew up in Tema. You still live yeah. in Tema. Yes. And, of course, you've got a lot of talent around you. Did yeah. you get in touch with any of these big names in, in your early days, or you just kind of like, you know, got closer to them? Oh, I got closer to them with time. Right. Um, I've always, like, believed in, like, doing stuff on my own, like building yourself, mm -hmm. Building, cause when I do that, like other people come on. Right. Yeah. So we just built ourselves, like with my team, just did everything, and now, like, yeah. I, I, I hear and I hear and I seen you have a lot of love for Sarko, dear. Are you yeah, recording yeah. something right now? Um, we we've done like we've done something, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to doing, doing more. Doing some more. Yeah. Okay, so messages have come in for you. There's one here from TK. He says, Doreen, big up to Chris Yata for flying the Ghana flag high. We love him. Ama also says, great interview. Chris Yata, congratulations. Joe says, he's enjoying the conversation. Erica in Tema says, I hear you were sacked from school because you couldn't pay your school fees. How yeah. true is that? Yeah, that's true. Like, Oh, well, so being stuck from school because yeah. of school. Yeah, they happen all the time. <laughs> anyway, it's part of life, I guess. And um, um, Marilyn Nadan Suwa says, Kofiata, actually, it's Kwesiata. <laughs> Temasco will always be behind you. Nil Nisi Optima, right? Only the best. I know, right? Your folks out in Temasco are reaching out. Hello, good morning. Tell Kwesiata what the whole Tema has, that the whole Tema has got his back. And we love him because he's the pride of Tema now. And he shall... And he shall tell Lele One <laughs> to replay my <laughs> message on Facebook. Lay low from Tema Community 11. You got some peeps out there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I uh, yeah, know, right? Chris Yatha, your hard to control song produced by Pat. <laughs> you need to shoot a video. The track is Fire. So, are you thank shooting you, a video you. for Hard to Control? Uh, it was released long ago, so. Right. Yeah. And um, you're not planning on doing anything um, with it at not the really, moment? Not no, really. Not really. Not yeah. really. Yeah. Okay, so what are you working on at the moment? You uh, did mention yeah. that. We're you know, working on Yeah, so I won't so go back there so you release yeah. a word. <laughs> <laughs> but how soon do you think that you want to release um, that? Before the year ends, it'll be out. Right. Yeah. We're right. putting things together. Yeah, we're still, like, we're still trying to mix and master it, find the right sounds for it. Right. So it'll be out soon. Right. How many yeah. songs do you already have that's on the market now? Um, I have a lot. A lot, like. A lot, a lot. But with singles, like I think this is my like my first official single. Why? Mm -hmm. Why is like my first official single? But I have songs out there that where m some of them were free. Like Anthem was a freestyle, but people love it. Mm -hmm. uh, and Grindy was on the EP, but it blew up. Right. Yeah. 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 And um, um, since your nomination for BET, etc. I mean. Have you been getting other calls from other friends so you could do collabs with them on their tracks? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're we are working with a lot of yeah? people. Yeah? Yeah? Who and who and who and who are you working oh, with? Oh, I haven't put word out there yet, but when it comes out, everyone will hear it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you don't yes. you don't want it to seem as though because of BET, they nah, holler at you. because, like, no. Nah, like most of the songs we do, like mm -hmm. most of them won't come out. Right. Yeah. So that's the case. I want. I don't want to say names and later. It I'll probably won't yeah, come out, and yeah. you'll be like, okay, I can, yeah. I can understand you. And you did mention earlier that you know you write all the time. Things around you just gets you thinking and all yes. that. What are some of the things that m it, one of the major things that inspire your lyrics? Uh, every everything inspires my lyrics. Like everything, everything, everything. I might, I might watch you right now and like go home and write something about this conversation we had yeah right. i might what we talk about in the car what we see around we might just make lyrics out of them right yeah. right yeah. and um let me find out from your from you now what your parents reaction are because 
they probably didn't see you growing up <laughs> writing and rapping and yeah. all of a sudden you're, you're a big thing now how yeah. are they reacting to your fame and your new talent that you've all all of a sudden resurrected i think like they're proud they're, they're proud. proud yeah and like if i can take something home like at the end of the day mm-hmm. like yeah to support really proud, them yeah, yeah to support in the smallest way i can like right yeah. Right, and are you doing that? Oh yes, I'm trying. Uh, you're trying. Yeah, okay. I'm trying my best. Okay, and do you do you have family now or something? Like or, you know, are you married? Thinking about it? Oh are no, you no, in a not relationship? Yet. Not yet. I'm I'm not in any relationship. I'm just focused on. Oh, tell my girls they're their child. Oh yeah, tell my girls and they. I can girls today. Yeah, them more they be. In them more they be, but them are corner. He day or corner. Yeah, yeah, just trying to pick it up from there. Yeah, it's all good. It works. I mean, hey. Whichever way you look at it, that's what puts food on the table. So you got to give it your best shot. That's yeah. the way to go. So who do you look up to in the industry at the moment? A uh, lot of people. In the Ghana music industry. Mm-hmm. Um, the Ghana music industry. Right now, right now, Sarkodie, Manifest, Shatawale, Stoneboy, um, a, lot, a lot of people. Have you recorded anything with Stoneboy? Not, not yet. yet. Uh, uh, we're, we're working. <laughs> not yet. We're yeah, yeah, working. Yeah, yeah working. Yeah, working. Yeah, Stoneboy yeah. is my boy. So yeah, Stoneboy be like yeah. hard. Like. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know him from back in the day or you just kind of no, like got together? No, no, I didn't know him. Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh. But I've always known him as yeah, the Stoneboy. Yeah, but you weren't yeah. like Fadis or anything. No. But now no. you're cool with each other, oh, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I like that. So, um, yeah, you mentioned some names you know, from the Ghanaian industry, but they were all male names. Are you thinking yeah. about doing anything with the female musicians? Oh, definitely, definitely. Efia, Efia Nocturnal, she's hard. Becca, um, Miss V, Adina, mm-hmm. um, Feli Nuna, a lot of names, a lot of people. Right. What about the girls or the ladies who rap? Are you thinking that's oh Frida Frida Rhymes Frida yeah. Rhymes be hard <laughs> Frida Rhymes be dope yeah, yeah. Are, yeah. You, so are you thinking about something we might we might do, do something, something. yeah but you haven't something. done anything with her yet oh not yet not, not yet, yet. Yeah. yeah I think she's hot I think yeah she's she, hot. she did try yeah. wow I, I think I, I yeah. think Jamie, you know, like, that'd be hard yeah too. that that could be something that we could be working yeah. on right yeah. yeah right I'm Definitely. sure I'm sure also that um you know in as much as you haven't um been you know your music hasn't been out there for too long yeah um you you also haven't probably gotten all that attrition that there is in the music industry right now in Ghana what do you actually think about the music industry right now as is and what are the things that you think that you know if something is done about them can change the way artists you know work and make their money um <laughs> For now, me, I just did my corner. Like, <laughs> artists show, other artists show me love, and I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. You get me? But I don't, I don't, I'd rather not talk about it. But other artists show me love. I show them love. Like, we're just, we're just doing everything on our own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're trying to get ourselves out there. Yeah. That's all that matters. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're doing your music. It's getting out there. But there comes a time where um, a particular unit controls how much money you make. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily stage performances, mm. but royalties and all that yeah. stuff. And that was the reason why I was asking. Yeah. But Ghana, <laughs> Ghana, Ghana, I don't, I don't be sure like if that really works. It works. Yeah. Uh, That's what they say. But yeah, have you? I've not really. Have you registered with no, Musica or something like that? I registered when I was like sixteen, uh-huh. but I haven't been active like since then. Yeah, because like back then I really used to believe in it. Right. But but now you don't. It's not that I don't, but I haven't re- I haven't sat down and like had conversations with the people who matter in that like in that organization. Right. Yeah. So, so you're, s- you're not. But now I'm just doing stuff on my own. Right. Yeah, but I th- be like like I think they're helping others, but right me I'm just doing stuff. You're on my just own. Like you're just I'm just with my team and doing stuff on our okay, own. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But me I think like they they mm-hmm. they are influential. Right. Yeah. Right. Let me find out um, which management team you're working with right now. Like who are your uh, um, you know, who manages your music? And I don't have a manager. Like, I haven't signed anything with anyone. But I have, like, a group people of people that I work, work with. with. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. And have they, have they, you have you had a conversation about, you know, royalties? How are we going to get it back? Because a lot of people play Grand Day. Yeah. And yeah. if, you know, all these hotels, bars, nightclubs are playing your music and you're not getting paid for it, I'm like, okay, this boy is being stiffed. 
And that's why I'm asking that. Well, have you, might, have, have you spoken about it as a team? As to yeah, how yeah, we talk about it all the time. Because right. like outside is different. Mm-hmm. Like outside, they get paid for their music and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it happens here too. But yeah. you probably want to get your good foot out and get the money that is due you. Or else, you know, yeah, you yeah, probably yeah, be like, true. oh, gonna be going to remind me to to pay. But it's <laughs> only because you probably haven't changed your music. Okay, okay. We might, we might, <laughs> we might talk to them and see. Oh gosh. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're in a live studio session with Chris Yatha. We're talking about every and anything <laughs> from his music to how much royalties they are not paying him and what he should be getting, etc. Yeah. Some messages have come in anyway. I still want to read them, but what I do is I'll go to a quick break and then we'll come back with more from Chris Yatha, who is in a live studio session with us. You probably want to be thinking about a rap that you're just creating to lay on us this morning. <laughs> and then, you know, when we come back from that break, you can release it for us. We're coming right back, folks. From the studio to your radio, feel the joy. Joy 99.7 FM. Hello, good morning. May I have your attention for the following announcements? The Multimedia Group Limited, MGL, is informing the general public and other third-party streaming platforms that it is the sole worldwide copyright owner of Adum FM, Inshirai FM, Asempai FM, Joy FM, Hits FM, Love FM, Adum TV, and Joy News content. Zeno Radio and its partners do not have any right to use MGL content online or on call to listen services and have no partnerships with MGL. MGL asks all our listeners based in the USA not to dial any phone number to access our content as this supports Zeno Radio's piracy and infringement of our copyright. Listeners can visit our website www.myjoyonline.com or www.adumonline.com and mobile apps on the app and Play Store respectively to listen to our live streaming. MGL also asks all third-party websites and mobile apps hosting our content to stop communicating with Zeno Radio regarding our content and contact us on info at myjoyonline.com. We greatly appreciate your cooperation to stop the piracy and infringement of MGL content. Hooray! A dancer is five years this July, for they celebrated in five city Euro tour, starting from Germany's heartbeat, Berlin, and Prague, which is Europe's most adored city. They shall add Budapest, Bratislava, and Vienna at only $2,555 from July 27th to August 6th. You wouldn't want to miss this five-star tour, and Europe has never been this affordable. Join them celebrate five years in Europe. This package includes visa cons- consultation, return flight, hotel accommodation, daily buffet breakfast, transfers, and travel insurance. Call 556 310 or 208 to book now. End of announcements. Thanks for your attention. Radio means joy. For your dropping, unless you go pay me back, or you really, really, really look for him. Imagine me with a red girl who depend on me. Boy, see me, can crowd don't depend on we. Me, we're online all day. I go slide in the DM if you get money. Me, that girl be your pen. Shorty, they link me for any event. I see up a dam, 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 dam. So you can know how we get down, the dam, dam. Girls who they stress, stress, they just wearing dress, they're not like this, they impress.
flexing, because brains don't stress them flex, never did to me, see now you're restless, they get to the job expect, man till the last Christmas, I was minding my business, building my business, you see cause them they don't fix mess, now I'm sending on my lick next, thank God for listeners, oh, me so up and I went to me, move up and pin you, <laughs> so if the girl doesn't know how to power boy, you won't like her. Oh. <laughs> or she should be able to sit on Okanda with you. Yeah, I'll teach her. I'll teach you her. teach her to pound I'll a fufu yeah, and sit yeah. at the back of the Okada. Yeah. So tell me, how should your ideal woman look like? Oh, I don't have a look. I don't have a specific look. look. Like, we have to talk first. Like right. We have to talk and Right. Talk. So yeah, you, yeah, you are yeah. thinking more about the woman's mind first rather yeah, than that the too. outward. That too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but I don't have, like, a specific like, idea of, like, how she has to look like, like yeah. yeah but the fact that she has to be able to pound for when she should be able to sit behind the okada with you oh. that one is real she should be able to sit on the okada <laughs> with me if she doesn't know how to pound for i'll just teach her yeah and, and if she sure. does and if she doesn't want to sit on the okada what do you do oh down and there if you can't ride with me then tell me <laughs> i don't know <laughs> you will find your own balance <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy i thought he's with me in the studio right now some more messages have come in here for you gabriel desmond from roman down in ashama says crazy an idol to tell my secondary school students bless up only the best i'm loving the show and gala freak says big up senior go higher god bless you like always musk swag attitude neil nisi optima only the best and we've got some birthday dedication so what i do is i'll just play a song for our birthday celebrant today and then we'll come back with crazy Atta. is that cool with you cool. okay yeah. we'll do that in a little bit We've got birthday dedications going out to Mrs. Evelyn Jane Akule and Bernard Odati. Huh? Bernard Amate, excuse me. Enjoy your birthday. Also no. for my man, Sakodie. Uh. Enjoy your birthday, Sakodie. It's also for Sakib Nazir. Have a happy birthday, Sakib. Happy birthday to Moni Bertha. Have you? We see your Beniza Methodist Church Community 20 Tema. And it's from Abokuma. Have you? We see to wish you a happy birthday. This one is for all our birthday celebrants. One that you can dance to. Enjoy, enjoy. God bless. It's half past 11. This is the Cosmopolitan Mix.
forget the Joe FM Beauty and Bridal Fair. It is starting on Thursday, the 12th of July, up until the 15th of July. So the Accra International Conference Center is going to be the home of the Joe FM Beauty and Bridal Fair, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. You're welcome to be a part of it. And then on Saturday, 2 p.m., it's going to be a fair mix of the seminars and the fashion show all at the Accra International Conference Center. Make sure you're there on time. If you want to be a part of the Joe FM Beauty and Bridal Fair, if you want to exhibit, if you want any inquiries, give us a call on 0540-106-466-0246-477-783. Proudly brought to you by Joy FM, and it's sponsored by PMMC Jewelry. Ruby's Bridal, Curious Cakes by EKGS, Angels Beauty Supplies, Black Secret Makeup, Pepsi, Team Thousand Words Limited, Millennium Insurance, and 925 Jewelry. The Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair, that's where your beauty comes alive and that's where your walk down the aisle begins. So when all the music was playing in the background, I could actually tell that you were also singing along. What do you do in your free time? That is, if you find free time. Um, just hang out with my friends and play games, play video games. Play video games. Yeah. What about the football? You ditched it. Oh, I don't. I don't get time to, to play, play anymore. anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but you just play games and hang around yes. with your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Or go to the beach sometimes. Yeah, you like the beach. Do you like to swim? Yeah. Or yeah. you just hang around the beach? Yeah, I like to swim. You like yeah. to swim. Okay. What are five things that you think that your fans do not know about you? Uh, I like Goshen a lot. Like I like Goshen <laughs> a lot. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, don't worry. I have time. Ah, <laughs> what else? <laughs> time day. Oh, you know yourself. So tell me five nah, things. They, they might know. I don't, I don't know what they don't okay, know. Okay, you like goofing a lot, which we don't know about you. What other things do we um, know about you? What do you do first thing in the morning? What do I do first thing in the morning? Yeah. I thank God. Like, I give thanks. Okay, what do you usually eat in the morning? What, what, what sometimes kinky. Yeah. Or wachi. Yeah. yeah. What, what's your favorite food? Fufu and then cut and cry. Do you know how to prepare it? No, I don't. Ah, <laughs> and you were trying to uh, kick the girl out if she oh. didn't know how to make fufu. <laughs> you know how to pound it, but you can't prepare the soup. Yeah. Oh, but I, feel, I, I can try. You can try. Yeah, yeah. Have you I've seen my mom make it a couple of times. So yeah. I feel like okay. I can make it. Can you walk us through the to. process that you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you walk us through the process that you nah, know? Nah. Oh, try. Like, I think, like, uh, try. first she... <laughs> um, first she... I, first, I have to boil the... I have to boil water, then put the cut. I have to mix the cut here uh-huh. with water, uh-huh. then I put it on fire. Uh-huh. Then I'll put the tomatoes and everything in it, uh-huh. and I'll boil it. Uh-huh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> can't even hear the rock. Let me just let me just leave it there. Let me just leave it there. <laughs> the, really to do that. the root you're taking <laughs> us through, eh? I don't know how the category <laughs> is going to come out. But anyway, you've got a message here from Atukwam yeah. Nambu Jojo. He says, great interview with Kwesi Atha. You want to know if you will be at the Chalewate Festival this year. That's where I got a glimpse of his greatness. Ground up, Charlie. Ground up to the top. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure if you're, yeah. perf- yeah, but I mean, you probably might go even if you are not performing there. Well, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, since we we still haven't finished preparing the in Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm disgracing myself here. So, I just <laughs> so which other there. food can you prepare very well? well? I can make Gary. Oh, Gary, dear. <laughs> Gary. I can make. <laughs> I can make stew. Uh, which kind uh, of stew? Chicken stew. A chicken stew. How do you yeah. prepare your chicken stew? Oh, chicken stew. <laughs> First, I steam the chicken. With what? I steam the chicken with ginger, mm-hmm. with, oh, I do some ch- ginger, <laughs> onion, um, garlic, uh-huh. yeah. And then? Uh, then, hey, you done it. Oh, <laughs> like, I, ca- I can't, let me, like, I can cook it, I can make it, but yeah. I can't take it to the process, like, oh, I, I want, I'm I mean, just processing me, I'm a lot of things. I know you're processing a lot of things, okay, yeah. if you're processing a lot of things, what are you processing now? Is this some lyrics that you're trying to? Oh, no, like, I'm processing, like, uh-huh. the, the process, food. like, the, <laughs> the process, process of making the, the food. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. a lot. I have be imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you were standing in the kitchen, and okay, let's give you fresh kitchen. 
tomatoes, onions. Oh, yeah, I can chicken. do it. Uh, hey, yeah. So imagine that you are doing it right now. What would you do first? Okay, if I have, I'll put, I'll put oil in like, mm-hmm. I'll put oil in the saucepan. I'll, mm-hmm. double the mm-hmm. okay. I'll put oil in the pot. Mm-hmm. Then I'll put the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Do you put the tomatoes first? I put the tomatoes. I beat the tomatoes. It will be like the processed tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll put it in there. Mm-hmm. I'll cut onions. and f- But I'll fry the onions in the pot, in the pot first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I'll add the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, now, then, then, yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go. Now, I'm <laughs> yeah, and I'm with the mokone gum. Then mm-hmm. I'll put the chicken in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll yeah. put the chicken in it. Mm-hmm. You want and to yeah, you put the fresh chicken in it? No, oh, I'll, I'll be, I was steaming the chicken. Uh-huh, me, me, yeah, 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 I was talking about steaming the chicken. <laughs> so when the chicken is now, I'll just put, I'll put it in it. I'll add a little bit of water. I'll add like the the liquid from the steamed chicken. Mm-hmm. I'll add a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then I'll stir it. Leave it there for a bit. That's like yeah, I can't cry, nah. <laughs> boys, boys cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Uh, but I made it like I used to make it for people, like yeah. and they liked it. And they liked it, eh? Yeah. And did so you, I did, did, try. You, did you call them the next morning to find out? Yeah. What then they come. Like, like every time they come, they ask for more. Hey. Yeah. Hey, th- you must like cooking then. Oh, I don't like it that much, but, but I thought they try. If I if I'm hungry, I'll mm-hmm. make food for mm-hmm. myself. And you, you yeah. make food for yourself. And yeah. chicken stew is one of the things yes, you like to play. Yes, yes. Then cutting quite there, it doesn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you like cooking yourself? Uh angwa um angwa is uh, s- yeah. very simple. Yeah, be like that so. <laughs> be like that so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your mom will be very very angry <laughs> with you because she knows that you could have done better. But all the same, yes, we were talking about five things that people don't know about you. At least now we know that you yeah, can I cook. Can, I can cook. Yeah. Yes, you can yeah. cook. Yeah. Like yeah. Some chicken stew that people come back to. Yeah. I'm worried about the emodium they'll be buying. <laughs> <us about them. laughs> what other things about yourself you think that people um, don't what know? Other thing, what other thing? Now they play football. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, but now don't you don't, don't anymore. you don't play football anymore. Yeah. Oh, poor you. I'm I wish that you could play some more because football is good. It's great for exercise. Do you do do you do any you know, weightlifting or something? Oh no, I don't. But I do like push ups and stuff. You do push ups and yeah. stuff. Yeah. You don't you know, exercise major, just regular I do I do like once in a while, yeah. once in a week. Right. Yeah, and I do it. Okay. Yeah. And you're kinda tall, so I was actually yes. hoping that I'll see you at a basketball court. Oh, I used to play basketball, but they didn't like me at the court because like, when I'm there, everybody, like, I just shut everybody down. Like, I was so good. They <laughs> didn't want me at the court. <laughs> you see your boys are scratching their heads. <laughs> They're not sure about that part. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Like, I used, to, I used to block. Ah, they used to call me the beast. <laughs> ah, you see the fair boy where you see down they play for the court. Ah, this them. <laughs> yeah, the block rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris, you have with me in the studio. I'm having such a good time. But let's talk about you moving forward. I mean, hey, um, Chris, had to... You finished um, Tema Secondary yes. School, right? Yes. And um, you couldn't get to J- GIJ, neither yeah. could you get to Lagon. Yeah. But um, you started learning to create music beats and stuff in the yeah. studio. I'm sure that by now you have a few lessons under your belt that you could actually mix and do stuff in the studio, oh, don't yeah. you? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, are you thinking about doing anything else in your education? Or are you thinking about a business? Are you yeah. thinking about blowing up your music so much so that you'll be so rich, you'll be like, yeah. um, folks, take a big break kind of thing? Uh, what are your plans? For now, we're pushing the music. Right. For now, we're pushing the music. And we might get into other things later, mm-hmm. yeah, because we have plans of, like, reaching out into other other things, mm-hmm. yeah. But that'll be later. Right. But for now, we're doing the music. So now you do full-time music. Yes. You don't yeah. do any businesses on the side or anything? No, no, it's just full-time yeah, music? full-time music. Wow. Full-time music. Yeah, and anybody in is there anybody who supports you in your music career? Anybody who kind of directs you to say, dude, you have to go that way, you have to do this, you have to do that? Uh, yeah, I have like, I have a good team. I have a good team mm-hmm. uh, who advise me and stuff. Every decision we take, like, we take it together. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't just do it alone. Yeah. Right. I have right. people who, like, I have, I take decisions with. Yeah, people like Big Homie Flea, Ralph, uh, Chief Ablakwa. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. How many? How many in the group? Oh, there are a lot. Team. Like, it's a movement. It's a movement. It's like, Tabeo Day, Cliff Day, Buntu Day, Mango Day, um, Twitch Day. Um, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of... N- Sam P. Sam P. Day. 
a lot of people. Yeah. yeah Carries like yeah, it's a movement. It's a whole movement. Ground up is a whole movement. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's a whole ground up movement that yes. you kind of like you know support each other and yes. you do stuff. Yes. Okay, yes. sounds good. Sounds yes. good. So what what is the plan for the rest of the year? Are we recording? Uh, we, are might we, we might drop a project. We might drop a project, and we are planning to do more videos. Mm -hmm. um, no title. I've done a video for no title, so it might drop soon. Mm -hmm. um, my project will drop before the year ends. Yeah. yeah. So before the year ends, because we've done six months already. Yes. So yes. you know we're before in the second the half ends. of the year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it'll come. It'll come. It soon. will come. Yeah. If when the final stages of like when the final finishing stages. it, so oh, okay. it'll come out soon. If you had the chance to be on an international stage with any artist, yeah. you know. Apart from Drake, who would you Jay -Z. choose? Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Z or Kanye. I know, right? Any yeah. any any big raps that um you know that they do that you're familiar with? You want to rap for us? Uh, Anything uh, that comes to mind readily? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, how you? It's crazy how you could go from being Joe Blow to everybody on your own no homo. I bought my whole family whips, no Volvos. Next time I'm in church, please, no photos. Police escorts, everybody passports. This the life that everybody asks for. This the uh uh, we are one that crash course. What you think I rap for? The push it uh uh, rap for. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, that we kind of on I yeah, know, yeah, yeah. right? That's crazy. I thought it would mean the studio here yeah. in our live studio session. I'm actually really forcing him to rap something, and that's why I take him along those lines. <laughs> Folks, we got some stuff coming up for you as we get ready also for our Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair 12 to 15 July, Accra International Conference Center, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. So we're talking about mentally getting prepared for your wedding, the big day. It's in our Lifestyle Cafe after the break. Do stay on. So at Dunstead Travels is five years this July and we wish to celebrate this milestone with you by offering the following highly discounted packages. Konka Ghana Tour. There's also the Kenya and Dubai trip. It's currently happening on the, actually it's going to happen from the 26th of July to the 2nd of August and it's 5,900 CDs. There's also the fascinating Europe tour covering Germany, Czech Republic, Austria, Slovenia, and Hungary, 27 July to the 6th of August, 2,555 US dollars. Please note that the above rates are per person sharing, and it covers flights, hotel accommodation, breakfast transportation, airport transfer, travel insurance, and visa support where needed. You can book a slot by just calling us at Adansi Travel 0243 6066648 or 0247067566. Visit our office at Okonglo, East Legon, opposite the Echo Bank. All bookings are based on first come, first served basis as seats are limited. Feel life's beauty as we celebrate the fifth anniversary of Adansi Travels. Multi TV is also bringing the new and improved digi boxes to your doorstep. The prices have been slashed. So visit our activation stands in the following locations between now and the 15th of July and purchase your new digi box. Viewers can also get their faulty boxes fixed in Kanishi, Kanishi Market Satellite Zone, close to the footbridge from the first light. In Ashaman, Victor Electronic opposite the main station. In Teshinungwa Bill Shai at the first junction. Circle Anthop near Mr. Biggs. Medina at the satellite zone adjacent to Ashanti Home Touch. And in Kokomlemle, just come to IK Ventures, multi TV offers. Or give us a call on 0302-211-680 or 0244-340-415. Your business and the health of your workers are directly related. The more time they spend away from work due to ill health, the less productive they are to your business. So if you want to keep your business's productivity high at all times, then make sure you provide your workers with good health insurance, like Acacia Health Insurance. Acacia Health Insurance will provide your staff with great customer service, quick payment on claims, IT support for quick service, and coverage in all the 10 regions of the country. Give your business what it needs with the number one health insurance provider, Acacia. We place value on those you value. And speaking of Acacia, 
They come together with Ernest Chemists providing quality and affordable medicines. Bell Beverages, producers of Bell Cola, Big Boss Energy Drink, Bell Malt, Tropical Splash, Tamarinda Drinks, and Bell Aqua Mineral Water and others. And Wemplex 400, your one-stop dewormer for the family. And they bring us our Lifestyle Cafe this morning. We're talking about preparing for marriage. As we get closer to the Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair starting this Thursday, going all the way to Sunday, the 15th of July. So yesterday we started talking about basic things like you, you want to do, preparing mentally for marriage. Today we go on to part two, plan for your future. Discuss your future plans once in a while. How do you see yourself in the next five or ten years down the line, especially as a unit? No clashing of egos. There will be times when you have to be ready to meet midway. Remember that it is not about who is right, but what is right for this situation. Don't make it a battle of egos. Have faith. There are going to be ups and downs. Be ready for it and don't throw the towel in at the first sign of distress. Discuss it. See how best you can pray and work on it. Be open to challenges and changes. Let that be a learning new let that be learning a new skill or a shift in paradigm. Personal growth will contribute to the growth of the unit. You need to also keep your own friends. Sometimes it's important. Once you get married, it doesn't mean you totally cut off your former life. You need to have your own set of friends to hang out with as well as your own hobbies and interests to pursue. Your spouse is a very integral part of your life, but not the only part of your life. So it is not necessary that you do everything together. Make sure you're keeping your friends, at least the good ones. Premarital counseling is always advised. It helps in a big way to prepare for married life. It facilitates healthy discussions about expectations from each other and of each other. Dealing with fears and notions, discussing the future and the past together with a counselor, all key things that you need to do. Most importantly, nothing beats the preparation of a married life with your decision and mindset that you are ready to marry as it is generally referred to settling down. Sometimes you can't be mentally prepared totally, but at least you can prepare yourself in a way just so that you don't get surprised in the whole process. Proudly brought to you by Kitty Vite from Ernest Chemist, Wemplex 400, Acacia and Bell Beverages. And that's Chris Yata in the background there with Adiachi. I kind of like it. Thank it's you, it's thank got you. beats of totally local tunes in it. And it yeah. does it talk about your everyday life too? Um, yeah, it's I 
on that song I was actually talking about someone it's like someone else in the first part oh, okay. and like the second part the sound of Jacob but I was just talking about like my life right yeah. regularly when you yeah. wake up and yeah. the things you do and yes. what you see yes. Yes. Oh, right NK um, no there's one here it says Doreen I'm back I hear after BET Kwesi charges high now how true is that <laughs> huh. yeah oh <laughs> oh this one here is not me yeah. oh. NK is asking me that question he just wants me to ask you yeah. Uh, so what's your answer to that part? Uh, like if you want, if you want to book me, like just <laughs> hit up my people. Like yeah. we, we go come to an agreement. Oh, yeah. Okay, but yeah. he thinks he says that he's heard that you you're charging more now. And that's what people are saying. But I'm sure if you if you if you hit us up, like we'll come to an agreement. Oh yeah. okay, but coming yeah. to the agreement is it higher than before or lower oh, or something? We'll come to an agreement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to be like a politician. <laughs> okay, Bonto says Kwetia says to you is like. You pull up accent. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups, bro. All righty. And there's one here for Mr. Prince Ebenezer Ahin, Deputy Director at Kolebu, is from Eben to wish you a happy birthday. We'll definitely play you one to wish you a happy birthday. So before we go, Kwesiata, what's your principle in life? Uh, how do you see yourself? How do you roll along every day? Yeah. You, you come across as a happy go, you know, yeah. a happy, happy kind of guy. You know, yeah. you've got your spirits up all the time. Yeah. Life doesn't bug you. You're just rolling. Yeah. What are some of the principles? What are the things that you live by that makes you the way you are? Uh, follow your heart. Like, I always try as much as possible to follow my heart. Um, I know whatever I say, like, comes to pass. Like, so I'm mindful of what I say. Um, and I just show love. Uh, show love. Th 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 go back to the part that you speak about. Um whatever you say comes to life. Yeah. Uh, have there been several things that you have said that come oh, to life? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Give yeah, us example. Yeah. We have like time. We have five more like minutes. I had <laughs> <laughs> like, like two years ago, uh -huh. I was talking to a friend uh -huh. like about blowing up and stuff, like coming into the music scene and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And like he was like, nah, like if you you have like if you make it and like get there like you need like ten years mm -hmm. and I was like nah me I no go take ten years Charlie me I go blow any time from now right. and like see fast forward see. right fast yeah. forward and like there've been like many of those like instances yeah. where we've said uh, we've said something like and like it comes to pass right. yeah. Yeah. Right, right. So yeah, are you kind of like a prophet or something? Oh no, I'm not. I'm not a prophet. But like, your that's life. <laughs> like it's in the Bible. Yeah, it's in the Bible. Right. Yeah. The other can be a. The other can be a. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Yeah. A bit to me, Yeah. A bit to me, Yeah. Sure. I'm sure there are younger, um, younger rappers who are, who are now. You know, we also spoke about a lot of rap going on but a lot of them are underground yeah are you are you in touch with any of these underground rappers are you doing anything to help them also come up like you have come up um like i wish i could help everyone mm -hmm. like and i'm in touch with a couple of people like and we're doing something right yeah so definitely like something with them might come out soon right yeah. you're thinking about working on something soon? yeah yeah, it yeah. Sounds and i'm working with a couple of a couple of i see i still see myself as an upcoming artists because I'm not there yet. Yeah. yeah so you're so gradually yeah. growing. Yes. yes. Yeah. And and um, basically what I d uh, what kind of advice do you have for some of these young people who are growing yeah. up and are still underground and want to see the light of day? Uh, follow your heart. Do you do you do you do you do you do you make no make you no really listen like what people go talk. Like, All right. Like and unless like if it like even if they come up with like a solution like for go through carefully mm -hmm. to be sure but but yeah do you follow your heart follow your heart yeah. do you and like it will be everybody heart. where they want you down for mm -hmm. but yeah yeah go hard go hard yeah. <laughs> you want to say anything to your fans lots of people love you actually and they <laughs> laugh along with you because yeah, then yeah. you know some of the things you also say you know yeah. get them cracking up what 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 do you want to say to you i like fans? to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting us like I appreciate it to all the DJs, to every presenter, um, to all the bloggers, Charlie. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for what you do. Um, keep supporting. Don't stop. Wara is out now. If you know, listen. If you know, here, I'm go out and get it. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. coming by, Chris. Yes, I definitely me. wanna. I definitely wanna play um, Wara to end the show. I really like it. It's a good Thank track. You. Thank you. We wish you the very best. Thank and you um, so much. this definitely shouldn't be the first time on a BET nomination definitely. list. Definitely. We look forward to seeing more. 
keep you know keep doing you make Ghana proud sure and I'm sure you know big ups to all the Tema peeps you make yeah, it happen yeah, man. Tema. Tema for life yeah uh, yes. Ghana <laughs> forever <laughs> thank you so much thank for coming you. by it's been fun hanging with Chris Yata in our live studio session this Tuesday morning God bless you see you soon thank you so much okay let's wire up in the background for a little bit wow.